Hey, let's talk real quick about remote controls for your cameras. I have a Sony a7S III sitting over there and recently I bought this, which is a controller. I didn't know it wasn't advertised as working th uh, for the a7S III. Put a link below and it does work for the a7S III and I'm really happy about that. I also have a camera sitting over here. It's a camcorder and it comes with, like camcorders do, it comes with a remote and I use that over there. Take a look. That's the camera over there. I can just sit here and I can zoom things in and zoom things out. And the best thing that I can do with these is I can do settings. I can change the white balance and stuff like that. For instance, on the a7S III, in here I have a custom white balance. I've set that to C2 for the second studio. And I can just sit here and go click, click, click and move it and change the white balance. When I move that camera into the other studio, I can just go through and go click, click, click and set it to that white balance and I don't have to fuddle around. Okay, now I have that camera set up. It's on manual mode. I have everything set up kind of like I have on my video, but now I have it set up to where I can just take a photo just by pressing a button. Takes an instant photo, or I can have a two second delay right here on, boop, boop, right there, a two second delay. So I can do those goofy YouTube photos for thumbnails like this. and then you can do your thumbnails. One of the benefits for me is I can just come in front of the camera like if I'm in the studio and I can just start recording. I hit the button, I get my little thing showing me that I'm recording and when I'm done recording, I hit the button again, it beeps, recording done. That saves me a ton of time going behind the camera, hitting the button, touching the camera. I like it for 29 bucks. For me, totally worth it. Some people are getting confused on at least the Sony cameras on how to make this thing work. You need to go into the menu system down to this bottom toolbox and come over here, way down here. You'll see setup option, pick that IR remote control. That has to be on. If you don't have that on, well then your remote won't work. And the way you tell, as you can see right here, on the screen, it tells me that the remote setting is on. Also, when I was using my Canon 5D Mark III, I had the same thing. I went out and bought a cheap uh, Canon remote. Um, it didn't work so well, so I bought the OEM, the original equipment manufacturer remote. Works really great. Um, and that's why I went with the Sony, because the cheap knockoffs, they didn't work and they broke, and after a while they didn't work. Anyway, if you're looking at mostly in front of the camera or taking photos or time lapses or whatever, I highly suggest you look into these remotes. They're really handy. They do a lot of cool things. They allow you with certain lenses to zoom in and zoom out. They allow you to take photos. Um, they allow you to do time lapses. They allow you to take to start and stop your video from over here so you're not walking back and forth. That's just my quick tip for this week. I hope that helped. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.